druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods. So Geralt and Yennefer Yeah, that's true, STP. It does explain it. Help break down the druid's resolve. I think it's a lot like Skyrim, whereas I do a percentage less damage and everything else has a multiplier to its damage. Got the old one too. Yes, STP is the hardest difficulty. Got him. Hey, Ninja Pony. You'd never have beat me if I weren't five tankards then. No, Ninja Pony, I won't be. I'll uh, I'll be going to work here and bring like, on some half hour. Sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night still young. Stop playing. Time to end this. Jumped on his back. 
sank my blade in his neck to the hilt. Blood sprayed out like a true geezer, set cold as a mountain stream. But so many of you talk later. My ears still ringing from the fight. So I jumped up and I sank in the So where are the sister goes? May your locks never crumble. Last night, This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yards will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Huh. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wedge tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. <clears throat> Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Huh. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skellige wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yanmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. It's Skellige. 
We spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Damn. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Saras, actually, fantasy. I'm gonna support fa Saras. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you.
Ever see?